What's up everybody, Mechrex here, we're back in Vega Conflict. The event is slowly coming to a close in 3 hours 29 minutes. For the last, like, 3 hours I'm gonna be farming more or less de um, Punisher pattern boxes, hoping to get one. And I did, after fighting like one or two fleets in a row. Yeah, I finally got the Mark II pattern to be able to craft it. Only got one so far <laughs> and right now I'm fusing an infernal wave driver it'll be done in, what two hours yeah two hours 39 minutes and I'll start crafting up the Punisher cruiser now I need to start upgrading what to upgrade next guess I could just continue upgrading my main storages I finally got it and I'm hitting level 60s now because I mean I got all the prizes I really wanted and I opened up the gold prizes with you all last time so now there's just the resources which in all honesty I don't even need those because hitting the fleets has given me the resources I need so the only point of the mobilization is for the mark 2 boxes to be able to get them up to mark 2 for everything and for me, the gold prize boxes for the freebie ships that can hurt older tech and also be used as defense. I could also save up and go after every single one of the silver prize boxes, but even I don't use the Valkyrie carrier and stuff like that. <clears throat> I mean, I have what's sitting here. I mean, I've had it for a while now. Okay, let's clear out both of these. Be you rebels. Ship, and you're the jump ship. Okay. Ready for order. Well, I wanted to bring you all back in and point out each of the boxes could be priced a lot less especially for the older tech stuff just because of how expensive the new tech is we shouldn't have to pay all of this just for something like this 75,000 the newer tech mark 2 boxes cost less except for it's a chance to get it yeah chance these are just outright bought but they're old tech anyways For all of these, for all four patterns, 350,000 breaks down to 80, 85,000 a piece? No. It's 80? It's in that general bar po ballpark, but that's per mark. That is more than new tech. And you're not even getting a chance to get these ones. <laughs> you have to be one of the luckiest people alive to get anything out of the strong boxes they're providing. But in all honesty, I don't think that I'd be buying these boxes. I'd most likely be buying the cores. The tier 5 core boxes. Just because I would mass buy them 5 at a time and turn them into a Mark 6. Well tier 6 core. But other than that, I really do think the only mobilization this time around has been the biggest miss that they've ever made. And you can still farm the fleets and stuff, but no mobilization. You can get these same boxes by hitting the fleets. So why they would put these ones in here is beyond me, because even, even I'm stumped over that one. But everything else seems fair. I don't know how many parts you actually get from any of these, because I haven't bought any, because I don't have any of them. I don't have any ships to mark upgrade them, but I could try and get the Heretic stuff, because I do have the Heretic Cruiser, but... In all honesty, even with Xeno ships, I doubt I'd be able to get more than. Hmm, 
I want to say 150,000 more before the event ends. But other than that, research steadily drags on to research all of the garbage that they're filling us up with, such as all of the reusable items. Yeah. It's a lovely mess in my workshop's inventory. And yet there are people who have more than me, and it's a mess in mine, so I would hate to see what it looks like in theirs. I'm currently crafting all of the wave drivers up, but once I'm done crafting up the next one, I'm going to start the Punisher Mark Upgrade, because I do use my Punishers a lot, so that would be very nice to have. Okay, I'm rambling. Back to the main point of the alien mobilization being a, a complete miss. They could have greatly improved it by actually giving you pattern boxes for them for about... 500,000 to a mil in to a million intel and had them like these so that they give you the entire set of the patterns that you need to go mark 1 to 5 mark 2 to 5 they could have added individual core boxes just like what they've done here for the lower tier I think they should have waited at least one more month for mobilization and actually done that because I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't have been as much of a fail as it has been. Because I think that 500,000 to a million credits in uh, Intel to buy a box to mark upgrade any of the ships would actually be decent. Like these, you just buy the box, you open it, and you have what you need. And you need parts, you go down in here. They have parts for them all. Parts and quartz and patterns, all you need. But I think they should have pushed this version of the mobilization back until next month. Until they could have at least introduced pattern boxes and not this garbage. This is the same thing you can loot. You can loot these already. These, these were unneeded in the store, especially for the prices that they are. I would have much preferred an alien mobilization with Xeno ships where you could buy the pattern boxes like this, except for have them cost almost as much as the ship would have cost. Because it would be worth it in my eyes. Especially for the Decimator Cutter, the Annihilator Battleship, and the Exterminator Destroyer. And this is the one I'm waiting for. I want the Exterminator Destroyer's pattern boxes and stuff like that. Oh wait, we're not getting them. We're just getting more of this garbage. Oh wait, we can already loot this garbage from bases. Remember the alien bases? Sector. They're usually out here. Oh wait, they're not here during the mobilization anymore. <laughs> but in all honesty, it just could have been so much better because I farmed up credits and only bought the Mark II and I didn't get any patterns from that and I mean the antimatter and stuff like that that was hilarious and even now I'm not even full I think yeah not even full now because I was spending it and I mean when I started off har farming it I topped off at like 80 million and stopped farming I started opening boxes didn't see any antimatter didn't see a pattern didn't see anything so good job with the boxes in here But I mean, I spent more on the gold prize boxes than I did on the actual event just for the freebie ships. Just to have them. <laughs> and that's extremely sad. And resources, like I said before, by the time that you would actually have enough intel to fill yourself up, you're probably already full. Ready to go. And what else is there in here? Just prize boxes, and that's it. It's a crafting event. Except for it's not crafting for current tier. This this is all stuff you can already loot. Everything from here to here is just unnecessary in here because we can loot it out in the fight. And anyone with, Pun with Punisher Cruisers, I mean, hell. 
Let's see here. If I could mark upgrade my revelations, which would take me four to five days to just farm everything up and mark upgrade them completely, I could armor them up to the fullest they could be, give them higher grade weapons. Well, I find hilarious I skipped from tier 3 and tier 4 with a single carrier using just these ships. These aren't even level 3 thermal beams on any of them. There's nothing level 3 on any of the ships. <laughs> I mean, even the Midgard carrier, the little guy, he still has to be stripped of his armor like all of the others that I've done. But even it, I have level 2 bombers now. I don't even have them on it. <laughs> I mean, the fleet's DPS is what? Nowhere near what that of a Xeno fleet is? Let's see. Yeah, four ships. They outclass this fleet. Which actually makes sense because it's near tier. But it's the fact I use these ships right here. With each of these little setups. To unlock these ships. The Punishers were what started it all. From the Punishers, I unlocked the Annihilator Battleship, the Suppressor, the Exterminator, and the Decimator Cutter. I haven't built any cutters yet, though. Because long-ass build times are insane. My apologies, everybody. But... Alien mobilization could have and should have been more well thought of on kick size part. Especially these boxes, they're just a rinse and repeat of what we can already loot. High level players can easily loot these. Does, doesn't even have to be a coiner, just a person who's just got an unnaturally strong Punisher cruiser fleet. And you can loot just about any of them if you're skilled. And then these? And I, I find it even funnier. Okay, so we got the Hellfire Battleship. Where's Legion? Legion was from their tier of ships. It was even in theirs. Am I not mistaken? Legion, right here. Oh, look. Why isn't it available? I mean, at Mark IV, it gains an additional squadron slot, so... It makes it somewhat better by me. It doesn't have the battleship range, doesn't have the weaponry, it's just... It needs the mark upgrades to be better, but I don't even have it, so... But looking down through the prizes, there's... there's there isn't even carrier materials for the Frasia, nor tier 5 carrier cores. That's... That's a slap to the face of everybody. Because that carrier is old enough, and yet you can still fit your um, your swarm squadrons and stuff like that to it. I would have at least expected it to be in here, but not even it's in here. Well, it is in this form right here. <laughs> I'm rambling again. My apologies, everybody. <laughs> In all honesty, it was the only mobilization went from that and alien mobilization to farm for the gold boxes and get free ships. And out of this one, out of the 30 boxes, I got five ships. So that was better than half the other ones that I've gotten for the drop rates. And then alien bounty. I'm not that encouraged, honestly, to hit the higher level targets to do much because the prizes aren't. There aren't very many prizes that I'd want in any respect from the alien mobilization. Because, I mean, I get all of these. I got all the blueprints from decimations and the actual events for them. And there's no weapons for any of them in here, nor in the decimation, other than the heavy versions in the decimation. So, in turn, not even the ships are needed in the alien mobilization. The blueprints aren't even needed. They could basically just drop everything from here to here. Because we can loot all of this and we already have enough mobilizations and decimations a month. that We can get these in the decimations. And the decimations still have the normal hive fleets that low levels can do. Because I can take this little fleet right here. 
And this is how I got my Punishers, was through a decimation. And I was hitting those little four, level 40 hive fleets. I hit them about four times. I would take a bit of damage. I think it was mostly free repair time. When I was careful, I would bounce it around. I'd have the battleships cover the Midgard, while the Midgard enhanced the cruiser's movement speed to get them in range, start destroying the hives. But they're not even here, so low levels can't do much, and if they try and say, Sector. do you want level 40 fleets, which I actually did, and yeah, right here, Alien Reaper level 40 fleet. If, if they expect a low level to hit that with a fleet like this, they can kiss that fleet goodbye. Because even with this that level 70 sweet. fleet, I take about an hour and 15 minutes. That's not full auto. That's taking my time setting them up and moving a ship out away from the rest of them. So it fires in on the aliens as they circle the main group. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, not going to attempt to take that on with these. But the alien hives in the decimation, you can do with a fleet like this, with a fleet setup. Fleet. And look at that, most of them don't even have level 5 shields, they're mostly level 4. The only one that has the level 5 shield is the Fury Battleship. And it's not even a meta phase, it's just an energy, researchable ship, tech, right there. <laughs> And they're not mark upgrade either. But before I ramble on anymore, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna I'm just gonna say my last thoughts on the alien mobilization. The prize uh quick actually a quick sum up. One these shouldn't be here. This is an insult to the player base. Two these could be less expensive, these could be 300,000, while these could be 200,000 because it's old tech. These, the price is, I don't know how well the price is, I don't know how many parts you get per box. <clears throat> the pattern, since it's alien mobilization for Xeno Division, they don't need to be there, but they can be there for anyone who doesn't have them. The only major thing people need is resources, which is a lie, because most of us will already have looted all these worth for anyone who's like me at my level. Through anything else, the only decent prize that even I was collecting just to have the ships were the gold prize boxes. Even though I'll probably never actually use the ships, I'll probably refit them and put them in my bay just like everything else, because I mean, I have a lot of ships Please. in my bay. Yeah, I've got multiple mid guards. Oh, that one's dead. Huh, that sucks for it. It most likely is never going to be pulled out to be repaired. And then I have all of these, which I'm not going to fit any of them with any weapons, just because I would put only infernal weapons, and that would take forever to refit every single one. So, a waste of time. <coughs> So, basically, the only thing that I see worth getting in this, if you're a higher level player than me and you have the up to billion capacity for resources, would be farm up everything you can, get all the resources. If you see any need to have any of the patterns, that's up to you. I don't even have them, so they're of no use to me. These boxes are just a joke and a slap to the face. These, unless you have the weapons that can go with them, utterly useless and it'd be just like strapping the same guns I have on these guys <clears throat> Ugh, sorry about that but it'd be like strapping the same weapons right here all of these to these and yeah I'm only using level 1 disintegrator cannons on all of these because that's all I have for them Awaiting command. Please. same for all of them these ones are still in need of refitting so that they can be identical to these ones. Order, but, sir. other than that, I don't know what else to say other than it was just a fail. A slap to the face. An insult. 
But I'm going to end it here before I ramble on any longer. I hope that some some of what I said made sense. If not, say something bad in the comments. <laughs> if you agree with my point that the only immobilization, and this is my point, I'm going to state it right now. The only immobilization was better before this, or they didn't think this through far enough. And they definitely need to redo all all of this with the exception of these and even the gold prize boxes they could be reworked remove the infernal weapons because they don't go along with these ships they actually go along with the de the demon core yeah demon core put something in here that belongs to iron star If you need to, don't make these reusable items. Remove them and make them credit so it's instant equip so people don't have to deal with the BS refit times. Because I mean, I just started refitting an exterminator destroyer with only two. Note that two. So it'd be identical to this one. Heavy rupture cannons. Well, the uh, heavy shatter drivers. And what was the other thing? It was like resources. Yeah, it's being refitted with the heavy, heavy shatter cannons, a Xeno storage Jeez. hold level 1, because I think that's the only one I have. Yeah. And fusion thrusters 3. That's it. Ready to go. So, that'll be it for this, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the little rambling, the stuttering, anything like that. If it made you laugh, <laughs> feel free to leave a like. If you agree with some of the points, or if you wish to argue the points, please don't argue them. Especially not in the comments, I want to keep it nice and calm for everybody. <laughs> but, the mobilization could have done better, should have done better, and I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully I will have set up some other way. But. Well, hopefully the next thing I do will be decimation, but that's not until, what, after the next planet strike? And the next planet strike is in two days? wonder what the prizes in the planet strike are going to be. Okay, need to stop rambling. I'm out. I'll see you all in the next one.